after arriving and everything, um, we sort of just all like hung out and it was we just did movies and like it ate a lot of food all the time and it was just a bunch of fun. One of the nights we were just sitting outside, you know, eating and relaxing and uh, where this girl lives there's like a castle and like little houses around and she lives in one of the houses. And there was a wedding in the house and the Toastmaster, I think that's what it's called, he came to, into the house and was like, oh, would you guys like to come to a wedding reception? And of course we said yes. So we just went to this random wedding and there was just a, like, met the bride and just danced for like an hour or so and just had a bunch of fun just at a random person's wedding in a castle. So that was really cool. Another thing we did there was we all dyed our hairs together. We had a bit of a party, and so I went red, and they all went all different colours, so that was also just a bunch of fun, hanging out, just doing weird things. It was just really good. Um, and then after that, um, so my two Swedish friends that I was talking about, Henna and uh, Sophia, they are both leaving me. Oh, so sad. But uh, one's going to Lapland, which is the north of Sweden, and Sophia is going to... London to be an au pair so it's so sad to like finally make Swedish friends and then have to say goodbye to them but um but it's just I'm so happy for them and like I think like they've told me they appreciate it so much that they can talk to me who's been to the ex experience of like living away from home for a year and just doing something completely different than you normally would so it's so nice to talk to them and be able to give them advice and things like uh, I just love it but I am just so sad to see them go but I'm sure I will stay in contact and I want to try, um, we all, we'll all be back here for Christmas. So I hope we can get together again. That would be so good. Uh, and then I met the third exchange student, Kylie. So she, the, the exchanges, when I was in Soda Shopping, the exchange students had language camp and then they all came back. And, um... Yeah, I met Kylie, and that was uh, a bunch of fun. She's an exchange student from America as well, in my town, so... I had to go, like, pick her up at the bus stop, and then all five of us hung out together at Brady's house, the one from Australia, so we just had a nice day hanging out, getting to know everyone. It was really fun. And then, the weekend of after that, just before school started back, I experienced my first, uh, I'm probably not saying this right, but, uh, que que hmm, Queft Weaver, which is basically a, um, a crayfish party, which Swedes have in the start of August, from the first week of August, which is like to celebrate the harvesting of like fresh water crayfish or something. I don't know, like Swedes, any excuse for a party and to drink snaps. So um, they basically, um, yeah, all just ate crayfish and drunk snaps the whole night. But I was with Stina, so that was fun. We just kind of hung out and just uh, sung all the songs with them and that sort of thing and just... Yeah, it was just a really nice time there on the island, just getting to experience, like, another cultural thing. Um, I enjoyed that. And then I did another incredible thing in Gothenburg, which was the colour run. So this is something that happens all over the world, if you haven't heard about it. And basically, it's a 5k run, and what you do is you just, like, as you run, you just get a bunch of colours thrown at you, and at the end, you just look, like, just a magical work of art <laughs> basically just all different colors um it's like powder so like it just sticks to you and like that was so much fun again i did it with Sina, my first host sister and my host mom there wasn't much running to be honest but uh there was still like it was just a bunch of fun a really cool experience there was a lot of like young people out and um it was really strange like the music was so much music that i was used to listening to from back home because the music here is obviously a bit different so it, yeah it was really kind of a nostalgic thing to hear yeah just old songs from back home and just bring back memories but no it was so good and then after that uh just the day before school all the exchange students in gothenburg district well most of them it was about 10 of us got together um, and so it was so good to meet all the newbies because we have 16 in our district and there were five old exchange students and then so that means uh, 11 new ones came in so it was so cool to meet them all um, we again went to Haga but we went to like this castle thing where we had to walk up about a billion stairs and so yeah we went there um, and then we took them to Ikea, so yeah, and we just uh, ate the really cheap food because we're exchange students and we don't have a lot of money. So yeah, we just, again, had a bunch of fun and that was really cool. And um, so that was about all of summer, which was just so nice. I wish, I could, there's probably so many things that I forgot and I hate that feeling, but 
that's basically a big summary. Um, I've just started back school, so today's Friday and I started on Wednesday. I have a new class and they have also far been so friendly and welcoming. My classes are again all in Swedish and if I concentrate I can pretty much understand what's being said. But it is so hard to like keep your concentration of Swedish. Like it's like solving the hardest math problem ever. Like your brain just gets fried. But I mean music, they mainly speak in English with me and again music doesn't have a language so it's just I can still participate in that and I'll also be taking English so obviously I'm able to do that. But uh, yeah, so far it's then just getting back into school and normal routine. But something really, really exciting is that I will meet my parents in three weeks in Scotland, which is, I am just so excited for. It, I, it's a weird thing, like, you get so, like, at first, obviously, you get home, like, you're homesick, but then you're, like, just not dependent on your parents anymore at all, so it's going to be so weird to see them again after so long, but, again, so looking forward to it, and I've never been to Scotland, and we're also going to England, which is where my dad's from, so that's going to be another cool thing to see. So I probably won't do um, a vlog right on time, not that this one's on time, but I probably won't do one on time next month. But I'm going to do like similar what I've done to the Euro Tour video, my Sardinia video. I'm going to like film all of like my trips with my parents. So that will be really good. And also what I have coming up is a boat trip with Rotary where in our district all the exchange students go on a boat for two days. So that should also be something special. But that is all I have for this month. If you keep posted, I'm going to start um, posting some different type of videos that are different from vlogs, more like information videos about exchange in Sweden. Because I feel now that I've been here for over six months, I can kind of talk about it more and know a little bit of <laughs> what I'm saying. So look forward to those ones. They're just going to be shorter ones, not like these vlogs. But that is all for now. Thank you so much for watching. I love all your comments. I read them all and try to reply to them all. So keep them coming because I honestly love them. But yeah, thanks again and I will see you hopefully very soon.